everybody this is Chris Cox for another guitar lesson today I want to start a brand new thing on my channel it's going to be the guitar lick of the month so every month I'm going to pick out a guitar lick that is commonly used in the rock and metal world and I'm going to show you how to incorporate it musically uh, show you how to play it and uh, add to your guitar repertoire of licks so uh, this is a really common lick it's a triplet um, it's used a lot by Vivian Campbell, Ace Fraley, Randy Rhodes. You can hear it a lot in, in different solos he plays. Tony Iommi, Mark Kendall from Gregor White, even Chet Atkins. Uh, you'll hear this lick a lot. So, so you know, you, as soon as you learn this, you're going to be like, oh wow, you know, this is a lot of songs that I hear this similar lick. But the idea is to try to see if we can come up with ways to make it into our own playing. So that intro lick that I did in the little trailer sounds like this. <laughs> That's a triplet. So when you are working on a triplet, you're basically going triplet, triplet, triplet. Okay. So all we're doing there is I've got I'm going to strike the G string one time. I've got my pinky finger on the fifth fret of the G and my index finger on the second fret of the G. So once I hit this note, I'm pulling off and then I'm pulling off. And then I'm going to the D string, same thing, 5th fret of the D, 2nd fret of the D, and I'm doing the same thing, pluck the D one time, pull off, pull off. Now, if we put those together, doesn't sound too great slow, but man, it sounds like a really blistering lick when you put some speed on it. That's the first lick, so let me play that for you again slow. So one pick, pull, pull, one pick, pull, pull, and then just repeat. And I should mention I'm uh, working within the A minor scale and A minor pentatonic scale with all these licks. So the next part, so basically it's just a pull off lick, uh, hammer on pull off lick. So we're going to go to another part where I use it just for a second. So I'm going to try to see if I can remember. So we do it. So all I did there is... So I'm working in the blue scale again. So if we pick, pull off, pull off, and then we can hammer on or pick that note. So let's if I can remember that lick. That's a great way to kind of transition into another lick. And all I'm doing there is just got my end, uh, excuse me, ring finger on the fifth fret of the A, and I'm pulling off to the third fret of the A, and then I'm pulling to open A. So and then I'm plucking again the C note on the third fret of the A, and then pulling again, and then sliding to the D note on the fifth row. Sounds like, sounds like this. So, so far we've got this triplet. And then we got two triplets right there. Okay. So that's an, another part when we transition into that F bar chord in the, in the rhythm track. We're doing a little climb or a walk up. Uh, and it's basically just... Now again, I'm working out of the A minor, A minor pentatonic. So real similar to this lick. Except we're going to be this time on the E string and B string. Okay, so we're doing, we're going to start this, we're going to use our ring finger and index finger. We're going to pluck the high E one time. And I'm just pulling off. So I'm pulling off from the fifth fret to the third fret to an open. Now we're going to go to the B string. And then again, is just a pull off. One pluck. So when I put that to some speed, okay, now 
we're going to go shift down. So this will be the first position of the A minor pentatonic. We're going to go to the second position. This time we're going to have the pinky finger on the 8th fret of high E. And we're doing the pull off from the 8th to the 5th on the high E. So one pluck. Then we're going to go to the 8th fret of the B. First fingers on the 5th fret of the B and then we're pulling off here. So. So we put those two together. Now, slowly. And then, you know, this this is a great exercise for your fingers. It really is. It will help you get some strength in there. Uh, you know, start slowly. You want to hear all these notes ring out. Now all I do, I'm going to stay in the A minor pentatonic, but this time I'm just going to just be playing the B string. So I'm going to be here on the 10th fret of the B to the 8th fret of the B, and I'm going to pluck, pull off, pull off to the open B. You'll hear Joe Satriani use that kind of lick a lot. And then I'm going to get this, so this will be the third position of the E minor pentatonic within that frame. This will be the fourth position. So this is going to be the 11th fret, excuse me, 13th fret of the B to the 10th fret of the B. And the same thing, pluck once. Actually, I was wrong about that. We're actually doing not 13, 12, and 10. So this is E minor. So. So let's go through uh, and look at all these one more time. So the very first one was. And then we had this one. And then we have this, 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 this climb. And you could probably, if you want to add something like that, so be creative with these. You can play these all over the neck. I mean, they're just, you know, uh, you probably heard in Thunderstruck or um, uh, Dirty D's from ACDC. Angus does this climb up. And he just takes it all the way up the high E. So. This is a real common lick. I think you'll you'll find it uh, very useful in your own playing. And even if it's not something that you really you know are able to play uh, real cleanly right now, it's a great exercise for your left hand strength. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, December I'll come up with another cool rock or heavy metal lick, and we'll we'll talk about that one next time. So guys, make sure to hit the red subscribe button at the bottom corner. I appreciate it. Uh, this will help me grow my channel and be able to give you guys more videos. And uh, So you guys take care. See you soon. This is Chris Cox.